Experiment Performance of petrol engine at variable compression ratios. What is a compression ratio? Variation in the engine compression ratio can vary its power. It is not always obvious that one engine is bigger than other. If the size of the engine block may be misleading. Two blocks can have same size but one of the cylinder can be bored up to a larger volume. And the standard measure of size is called displacement. The volume of the piston displaced in cylinder from the cylinder lower point to the higher point. The lower point is called the bottom dead center and the higher point is called the top dead center. This is also called the swept volume. And the swept volume does not include the volume above TDC which is nothing called the clearance volume. The engine size is the sum of all the cylinder of the engines and is called the total engine displacement. As discussed earlier that there are two volumes in a cylinder. One is the clearance volume and the second one is the swept volume. Swept volume is nothing but the volume which is from the BDC to the TDC and clearance volume is the volume above TDC. Putting these volumes in the ratio, we obtain a compression ratio. What is a variable compression ratio? The combustion chamber volume is altered to meet the power needs of the vehicle. At the low power levels, high compression ratio captures fuel efficiency benefits and at higher power levels, low compression ratio prevents the knock. Now, we'll see what are the different ways to modify the compression ratios. The first method is by using an articulated cylinder head. The second method is by using a hydraulic piston. The third method is by using eccentrics on the bearing. The fourth method is by using multi-rod crank mechanics. The fifth method is by having an additional piston in the cylinder head. And the last method is a gear-based mechanisms. Now we'll see the first method by using an articulated cylinder head. Now you can observe the inner parts of an engine. This is a variable compression ratio articulated cylinder head. This is a charge tapping wall. This is a provision for direct injection. And this is the wet sump. Now you can observe that the engine is working at 10% loaded conditions. and there is a high compression ratio. At the same time, there is a significant exhaust being tapped. When the load increases to 50%, you can see that the compression ratio is decreasing. At the same time, the trapped exhaust also decreases. And when the load of the engine increases to 100%, there is a minimum compression ratio. This shows the working of an articulated cylinder head. The next method is by using eccentrics on the bearing. This is one of the simple method to modify the compression ratios. In this method, the eccentric is attached to the crank pin and the position of the eccentric can be changed by using an external agent and by varying the position of the eccentric on the crank pin the compression ratio can be varied and this type of method is mostly suitable for testing but in the working condition it may be a little difficult because the external agent to change the compression ratio is to be attached to this engine This shows the working in a more clear point of view and it can be observed here there is a gear mechanism being used to change the position of the crank pin and to vary the compression ratio. The last and the best method to vary the compression ratio is by using an additional piston in the cylinder head and a gear based mechanism. Let's have a closer look of the engine 
to which an additional piston is attached in the cylinder head. You can see that by varying the position of the additional piston in the cylinder head, you can vary the compression ratios. And this is one of the most simplest method of the other methods which we discussed earlier. You can see that, that this method is very simple and by varying this additional piston, the compression ratio can be easily varied. And this is the method in which we can obtain a wide range of compression ratios. And by using this method, we will discuss the further experiment which will give a further detail of the variable compression ratio. From this video, you can observe that the additional piston and the original piston is being controlled with the help of a gear mechanism. At the same time, we are also having an eccentric on the crank pin. So, this is a combination of the two methods which we discussed earlier. Now, we'll see the experiment of the VCR engine on the test rig. This is the experiment for knowing the performance of petrol engine at various compression ratios. And this is the setup for variable compression ratio 4-stroke single cylinder water cold petrol engine with electrical rolling. And this is a 4-stroke petrol engine with an auxiliary piston for the arrangement of variable compression ratios. This is the compression ratio indicator of the engine. You can see from the dark reading that now the compression ratio is at 9. This 4-stroke petrol engine is manufactured by Graves Limited and the rated power is 2.2 kilowatt with a speed of 3000 rpm and the specific fuel consumption is 500 grams per kilowatt hour. This engine is connected to these belt drives to this generator and this is the AC generator and this AC generator is Kirloskar electronic made. Its maximum capacity is 3 kVA and 13 Ampere. It runs at an RPM of 1500 and the frequency of 15 Hertz. And this is the air box for the air flow. And these are the air heaters for applying the load. This is the power supply knob of the test rig. These are the switches for applying the electrical load. This is voltmeter and this is the ammeter and this is the energy meter. This is the engine speed indicator and this is the temperature indicator and it is the temperature channel selector knob. This is the manometer and this is the buret. This is the fuel control valve from the tank. Open this water supply and open this fuel control valve. And this is the air lock of the carburetor. By checking that there is no air in the carburetor. Now close the air lock. Wind the stator rope to the shaft of the engine and start the engine. Now the engine is in running condition. We'll start the experiment by switching on all the load switches. Now we have applied full load. You can observe that the compression ratio of the engine is 9 at this moment. 
note down the voltmeter and the ammeter reading and time taken for the three revolutions of the energy meter note down the temperatures T1 and T2 note down the engine speed note down the manometer reading and close the fuel supply valve from that tank and note down the time taken for the fuel consumption of 10 cc now we'll repeat the experiment again by varying the compression ratios we should loosen this knob and adjust the auxiliary piston to vary the compression ratio now the experiment is repeated again with the different compression ratios In order to wind up this experiment, you should adjust the compression ratio to the maximum level of 10. So by loosening these knobs and by changing the position of the auxiliary piston, the compression ratio can be adjusted to the compression ratio range of 10. So this completes the experiment on the variable compression ratio of the engine. Now, We'll see a guide for calculating the performance characteristics. The first one is the brake power. Second one is the mass of fuel consumption per minute. Next, the total fuel consumption, specific fuel consumption, heat input, brake thermal efficiency, air fuel ratio, indicated power, mechanical efficiency, and volumetric efficiency. We'll see what is the brake power. Brake power is the measure of an engine's horsepower before the loss in power caused by engine gearbox, alternator, differential, water pump and other auxiliary components. Indicated power. Indicated power is the theoretical maximum power output of the engine. The indicated power is the total power available from the expanding gas in the cylinders neglecting any friction, heat loss or entropy within the system. Air fuel ratio. Air fuel ratio is the mass ratio of air to fuel present in an internal combustion engine. If exactly enough air is provided to completely burn all the fuel, the ratio is known as stoichiometric mixture, often abbreviated to AFR, is an important measure for anti-pollution and performance of tuning reasons. The lower the excess of air, the richer is the flame. Mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency measures the effectiveness of a machine in transforming the energy and the power that is input to the device into an account force and movement. Efficiency is measured as a ratio of measured performance to the performance of an ideal machine. Next, volumetric efficiency. Volumetric efficiency in internal combustion engine design refers to the efficiency with which the engine can move the charge in and out of the cylinders. More specifically, volumetric efficiency is a ratio, is a percentage also, of what quantity of fuel and air actually enters the cylinder during induction to the actual capacity of the cylinder under static conditions. Graph showing the variation of the parameters with the compression ratio. This graph shows the variation of the compression ratio with the mean effective pressure. This graph shows the variation of the compression ratio with the specific fuel consumption. And this graph shows the variation of the peak pressure with the compression ratio. And this graph shows the variation of the power with the compression ratio. And this graph shows the variation of the brake power with the compression ratio. And this is the last graph showing the variation of the volumetric efficiency with the brake power of the engine.